welcome to this Dare Tailored. My name is Sarah Powell and I'm at the University of Texas at Austin. Today we're focusing on how we can subtract integers and we're going to use two color counters to show the, show the subtraction of two problems. We're going to do negative three minus two and four minus negative six. Notice when I talk about those problems, I'm very specific about the signs. I say that this is the minus sign and this is the negative symbol. Notice that those symbols are different and so we need to treat them differently and read them differently. So let's go ahead and see what these two problems look like. I'll move over to my document camera. All right, so we're doing the problems negative three minus two and four minus negative six. Let's focus on negative three minus two. Now when we use the two color counters, two color counters look like this. They have two sides, that's why we call them two color counters. And when we are doing this with integers, we are going to use the yellow side to represent positive integers and the red side to represent negative integers. So let's go ahead and set up this problem. I'm going to start with negative three. So that means I'm going to place uh, three counters with the red side showing. So I have negative three. Now I need to subtract two. The important thing to do here is to interpret this two. This two is a positive two because there's not a negative symbol directly in front of it. So I have to subtract positive two. I guess the question is right now, do I have positive two to subtract? No, I don't. So we use the concept of zero pairs. If I bring in a negative and a positive, it doesn't change the value of all of the the numbers that I'm working with right here. So now I've got, I have one, uh, one positive, but I still don't have two. So I'm gonna bring in another uh, zero pair. And I'll kind of arrange those just like that. And now I see I do have two positives that I can subtract. That's what the minus sign is telling me to do. So I'm going to subtract those by moving them off of my subtraction space that I've been using. So when I have negative three, minus positive two, our difference is negative five. One, two, three, four, five, and it's negative because all of these counters are red. Now let's look at this next problem here. Four minus negative six. I start with four, and this four is positive because there is no negative symbol uh, in front of the number four. So I'll just put out four positive counters just like that. Now I need to subtract negative six, but I don't have any negative counters to subtract. There are no red counters out here right now. So we will use zero pairs to get to the point where we have negative six to subtract. So I'll bring in one zero pair, don't have six, negative six to subtract. Another, another, okay, we're getting there, looks good. We'll bring in another and another zero pair and we'll bring in one final zero pair. I've got to grab one more counter right up there. All right, so now we have a lot of counters up here, but I can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six negatives that I can take away. So I'm gonna subtract those by moving those off of my uh, workspace right here. So when I have four and I subtract negative six, the difference is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten positive 10. So those were just two examples of how we can use those two color counters to help students uh, understand what it actually means to subtract uh, negative and positive integers.